We're at the Causeway, Lake Pontchartrain Causeway, the 24 mile reef. Captain Andy Jones of Wicked Charters, joined by Hunter Jones, his son. Andy, what are we doing out here, first of all? It's the Causeway. I mean, <laughs> I mean you check the reports on NorthshoreFishingReport.com. This has been like the Sahara Desert as far as speckled trout is concerned. Let's, let's first go back and, and talk to everybody about what the normal progression of this of fishing this bridge is. Typically, early spring, this is when we get on a good trolling bite. Um, this was back about two years ago that that was the norm. But since then, I mean, it, can you explain anything? Wait. Sometimes we got some good water out here. It doesn't really line up. Well, I mean, like, to, like today, absolutely perfect day condition-wise. Um, the water looks great. We got it, you know, we're coming out, we're taking a look. You're right, it's been a steady decline. We had, uh, you know, a couple years ago, the spillway opened and everything on the south shore was kind of shut down, but we were still catching fish over here on the north shore and, um, you know, had a banner year that year, which a lot of people thought everything was going to be shut down and it was just the opposite. That following fall, we noticed hey man we're out here putting in the time when there's no fish and everybody kind of chalked it up to uh you know just the off season off, off fall and we came back out in the spring and the spring was kind of flat yeah you know it was there were some fish and people were catching fish but it wasn't anything like we've seen in years past so we came into this year in the fall and nothing. Water, you know, and of course we had we had really really tough weather, but the water wasn't good. Um, fish weren't here, and uh, you just I just kind of tumbled into you know here we are in February taking a peek again and see see if we can do it. It looks good, yeah. so we're putting in some time to see if we can find these fish. Yeah. We should find out something today because this is, you know, the time to hit it, especially with this warm up. Uh, we've had a very cold winter, but it looks like we're transitioning into spring very nicely. Um, last few days we've had a uh, high of 80, and it's typical last, last three days. So today's going to be a carbon copy of those days. So a nice, nice uh, pattern here that we're seeing. No, no fluctuations in uh, uh, pressure or cold fronts coming through or anything so you know everything's lining up for a good trip today but as far as my confidence out here it's probably like your confidence out there but, but you got to go we got to try it we're gonna we're gonna put in a good hard day and see what we can do um, you know the fishing south has definitely picked up east and south yeah trussels and uh, you know the trussels and uh, you know, Ellen, all those areas over there, Gohagen's, everything's everything's starting to to show up over there. People are catching fish. Uh, you know, it's not off the chart numbers, but if you put in a good hard day, you're getting some you're getting some good quality fish. So uh, it's definitely on an upswing. And you know, we're gonna come out here and take a look in one of the toughest areas to fish. Period. Absolutely. But with the toughest areas to fish comes the quality, the quality. of the trout. Talk about the quality of trout. If we can get a few of these on on the boat, uh, yep. it you know, makes it. I mean, trout. it's a it's interesting. You know, you talk to guys that fish this bridge, and I and I talk to a guy, and uh, you know, first question out of his mouth, are they causeway trout? You know, in that we know, and there's fish on. All right. We got fish on. There we go. And that's it right there. Let's hope that's a causeway trout. And he's off. Ah. It's all right, great sign though, great sign. Yeah, that happens. I need, uh, that's tough. It's all right. Well, let's get to them, Andy. What, yeah. what kind of setup are you using here? We're, we're dragging, uh, we've got a manly rods, pen reels, and we are uh, dragging the mirror lures today, and we're going to be switching up to uh, rattle traps and trailers. So, uh, you know, hopefully we can put some fish on here and, and actually get them in the boat. <laughs> Let's do it. That was a nice fish. Good.
please be a trout. Watch this line right here. You have to keep it straight. That is a that is a sight for sore eyes. Hold that fish up. Let me get the causeway in the background. There you go. <laughs> Good fish. Let's get it back out there. The, uh, we got a couple of fish in the boat right now. The bite's been uh, been very aggressive with these fish. It's uh, they seem to be very hungry. Um, we we don't have a lot of fish, but the fish that we're seeing are uh, are really attacking the bait. Coming out in. Uh, just eating it big time, you know. It's not, it's not a, uh, it's not a subtle hit at all. So once we get them on, it's, it's good, it's good fish. Yeah, you can tell they, they want it. You, if it runs by their face, they're gonna hit it. So we just gotta, you know, we're trying to locate some schools of fish. This time of year is kind of tough. Oh, it's and, more yeah. of a hunt than yeah, a fish. We're definitely hunting. That's it. Looking for them. And, uh, changing up a few baits, trying to present what they want. But, uh, the, the nice thing is, when they're eating it, they're eating it. They're hungry. Feels good. Yeah, it feels like a good fish. Real good fish. Well, he jumped on. Great hit. Yeah, yeah hit it. Much playing around. And that sun breaks out and warms things up. Seems like it's going to get things going here. I've been dry for a while, but it's good. It's a good sign. Yeah. So, you gotta be willing to try inside, outside. Have to Huge. think about running back through that. Did you mark anything at least? Saltwater pogies. Yeah. He's been those are those. For a He's been in there for a little bit. Yeah, I got some bait out here. I'm gonna find some of these. There's your ticket. Yeah. I guess you know this early springtime bite. It, 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 the only thing that you could pattern is that it, the pattern is inconsistent. You know, it, it's just pick up one fish here, pick up one fish there. It's, it's there's no real good bait balls to, to to group these fish together. There's no shrimp out here yet, so. You know, usually that shrimp you can use them. That'll that'll get those fish all grouped up where you can hit a bunch in a pass. But what we're seeing right here is just there's no rhyme or reason. You just got to cover a lot still, of water. Still, out here. still scattered, covering a lot of water to find fish. Uh, everybody we've talked to, it's the it's the same thing too. You know, it, it's it's kind of a, a hunt and peck. Yeah. You know, you're you're looking, covering a lot of a lot of piles. And uh, you know you're looking for you're looking for that causeway giant, and uh, you know it takes a little work. It takes a little work to get them, and you get some uh, you know some average size fish mixed in. But when you pull that 20 plus incher, yeah, it makes it all worthwhile. You know, that's it. So 
we've been trying a few different things, you know, we're weaving in and out, doing doing some off the piles, on the piles. Um, comes back to that inconsistency. We've kind of we've kind of caught some in the middle, we caught outside, yeah. we caught close to the pile. Um, yeah, and then you know, the last one we, we were thinking about picking up, jumping over to the other side and bam it hit. So it's just no you know, no pattern whatsoever, but it's just, I guess it's, it's all about covering water, uh, trying different colors. The, the only thing consistent was that uh, that color, the silver and you know, green, the natural color. Natural seems to be the best. We haven't, the rattle trap really hasn't produced today, and uh, which is kind of unusual. Usually I rattle trap will be uh, with a trailer, uh, but again, it just, you know, they're particular and uh, the fish, obviously we've got a few fish here, they're just not really stacked up. So everything changes depending on how many fish you have in the air, what's gonna work and what's gonna. Another one. How's it feel, Dad? Good fish, good fish. Same rod, huh? Yep. yep. What, what bait is that? That's that silver and green? Yep. And uh, yeah, a very unusual hit on this one. Just kind of tap, tap. I actually came back and got it again. Oh, I see him out there. Oh, he's yeah, looping. Go ahead and go to neutral. Yeah. That's some size, yeah, though. We might have got him. Yeah, we might have got him foul hooked, and that's why he's. It didn't feel like a big hit. All right, bump ahead. So he, we may have foul hooked this guy. Yeah, or either that, or you know how it gets their mouth, and that other one would kind of pinch their gill, yeah. twist them up like that. Nice trout. Good trout. Yeah, nice fish. Yeah, good job. Oh, nice fish. Oh. Right in the mouth. That's the He's heavy. Heavy, heavy. Getting, getting some weight on him. Nice fish. Real nice fish. Causeway trout. trout. <laughs> yep. All right, Captain Andy, Wicked Charters. Uh, tough day at the causeway, but a good sign. We did put some uh, some uh, causeway speckled trout, and you know causeway speckled trout are different from any other speckled trout. Very important that, that we see them here. Uh, the size that we're catching is typical causeway size. This looks like, if we were going to say the causeway was coming back, this looks like a good trip to, to say that. It's very early. It's still February. Um, we just saw the first warm up, and it looks like it's only going to get a little you know, warmer. And these water temperatures can get in the upper 60s. And that's when it should really, really turn on. What's your thoughts? I, I agree. I think uh, you know it's it's positive uh, that we're catching fish here. We've had a we've had a real slow fall. Um, you know, fish basically non-existent. Real tough winter. So we're out. You taking a taking a look a little bit early that you know, we're catching fish. Some other guys caught some fi few fish today. Uh, they're definitely, they're fish here, they're spread out. It's not stacked up and bunched in areas, um, but we know they're hungry, they're feeding. They, they're definitely they, hungry. They it hit. seemed like if those fish were there, we would catch them. The hits are, are there. They're, they're very aggressive once you, once you can locate uh, some fish. So uh, cautiously optimistic at this point, I guess, is probably the best way to put it. Great day. Good to be out here, you know, and you can't. You can't know until you, you get out there and test the waters, and you have definitely been doing that. Uh, yep. Me, along with a bunch of members from the site, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we certainly appreciate it because we do like the fish this causeway. It's, it's near and dear to our hearts, and uh, the quality of fish you can catch here is tremendous. And you know, whether you're trolling or jigging, it's just really unique to the North. You know? Well, it's a uh, it's not an easy fish. Um, it's a 
there it's a challenge and you got to put in the time uh, but it's a great fishery you know when it's here we've all been a little bit concerned with what's going on we know we've had uh, you know two really poor falls back to back and uh, it's, a, it's unfortunate um, you know not from a lack of people trying or taking a look and just that the fish hadn't been there and then uh, you know to come out you know, last year we had an okay spring. It, it was decent. People were catching some fish, but not like what we'd seen in years past. Uh, and for us to start getting on a little bit of a jump and get a get a bite yeah, here early, uh, real encouraging. So beautiful water too. The water looks great. Uh, we keep getting some. We can get some uh, south and east winds coming in. Get those east winds blowing. Uh, keep that salt water coming in. It's only going to get better. We know the trussels have it's got fish now. We know that Highway 11's producing. We know that everything east of us is starting to show. So maybe we just encourage these fish to keep coming in, and uh, you know we'll just keep having some good Absolutely. luck. Absolutely, get things back on back on schedule as normal. Uh, speckled trout bite on the pond. Looking forward to a good good spring as it starts to warm up. Absolutely.